Okay, I know this looks a bit intimidating, but bear with me here. Trust me, there's a method to my madness. Hey everyone, this is Cedra bringing you some recording tips about CBVC English. Um, so let's see, I'm going over the vowels for you. Uh, we'll start with the lowercase vowels in the system. Um, the lowercase value vowels blah, 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 are pronounced um, a, e, i, u, uh, okay? Uh, like all, met, it, uh, boot, and but. You know, not, not too difficult. Um, and then your uppercase vowels are pronounced like they would be if you were reading them out of the alphabet. That is to say, A, E, I, O, U. So, pay, see, uh, sigh, so, and, uh, do, or wait, I'm probably the only one who says that word like that. Um, few. Um, and then you've got these three weird vowels, which are the at, the six, and the three, and also the ampersand and the one. Um, the, uh, the at is pronounced a, ah, like in the word at. So that's how I remember that one. Um, the six is pronounced u, uh, like in the word would, and put. And then the, uh, the three is er, the rhoticized schwa, uh, and like were, and, uh, church, and similar, similar sounds to that. Uh, the ampersand is just a nasalized at, so an, and the one is just a nasalized lowercase i, so think. Uh, yep, that's your vowels. Not too hard once you get the hang of them. Cedra, you're amazing! Okay, now let's take a look at how these samples will sound in the actual recordings. Da, dead, did, dude, dud. Da, dead, did, dude, dud. Dead, did, died, don't, dude. Dead, did, died, don't, dude. Dad, dud, dirt. Dad, dud, dirt. If you notice, the first samples were recorded with soft ending consonants and the second samples were recorded with hard ending consonants. Either works. Okay, next are consonants. Most of the consonants are pretty much straightforward. I mean, you've got ba, da, um, pretty simple. Uh, ones that are weird, there are two different THs. There's TH and TTH. These are the sounds, the difference is uh, think and them. So you've got the and the. Um, it can be kind of confusing to keep track of, but just think of them as thy and thigh for two that have the same uh, sound. Those two words are different, have very different meanings. Um, so the th is the sound in think and thin and thigh, and then the sound uh, tth is them, they, with thigh. So uh, next weird consonant that you don't may not recognize at first is ZH, which is Z, which is measure, pleasure, that sound. There's a few things that look like consonant blends that are stuck in there. You got twa, like twilight between. So yeah. And then there's one other note about uh, consonants, and that's to watch the length of your consonants. This is pretty a pretty good rule for all recording, but it's especially important with English because you are going to be aspirating your T's and K's. Uh, you don't know, if you don't know what aspiration is, it's that puff of air that comes out when I say t, or k, or p, when I say it like that. Um, that's an aspiration. If you're not careful, your aspirations will get really long and you'll go t, and if you have a really long sound like that, it becomes, one, a lot of more trouble to oto, and two, it means you're going to have to use consonant velocity to keep it from being too long when you're actually using it in the program. So watch the length of those watch out for your aspirations they might they might bite you on the butt if you're not careful 
similar with this is just a general thing to keep in mind is that um, S and Z might get really long so try not to get them too long again it's just a pain to Oto and even worse when you're trying to make them sing and also th I found that the TH can get really long so just keep an eye, uh, keep an eye on the length of your consonants basically and also one more thing um, you don't have to make a consonant at the end of the U sound that's the capital U because you can use the the O, the U sound instead because it's a diphthong and you basically the beginning of the sound is the only part that's different. So you don't need to record like toot. You just say two. And then if you wanted to make somebody say um, beautiful, you'd put bu and then you'd put oot with the OT, not the capital UT. That's kind of redundant, so you don't have to do it. Yep, that's that. And uh, that should be everything about consonants, I hope.